reception. So today we are going to turn your amazing picture of your dream home into a story map. So we're going to think about the sentences that you are going to want to write. And then tomorrow you're going to turn your story map into an amazing book. And you've also got the day after as well to do that. So this here is the picture that the boys and girls have been working on together at school with Miss Black, okay? And we're going to use these ideas and put them into a story map here. So like always, we need a title to start. Our title is My Dream Home. So I'm going to start with the word my. I'm going to write that. It's a red word, so that's a good word to have written down to help us. So, my dream. Now, we dream at night, don't we? And it's what we think about in our head. So, I think I'm going to do like a, a thought bubble, because it's what you're thinking about at night. So, I'm going to draw a little moon there and some stars to remind us that it is at night. This is our dream home. So my dream home. Then we'll draw our house. There we go. Right, let's have a little look at the fit, one of the first things that the boys and girls at school decided they wanted on their dream house. They said, they wanted a water slide. So there's going to be a slide that comes from the top of the house. They're going to slide in the house, out the house, and land in the water around their house. So our first sentence is going to be, my house has a water slide. So let's start. We've got my We'll write that word because it's a red tricky word. My house has a water slide. So we can just draw a picture of a water slide to remind us. Now remember, your dream house might have different things to the boys and girls at school. So your pictures might look different to mine. So my house has a water slide. Then I'm going to put a full stop at the end to remind myself when I finish that sentence, I need to do a full stop. What else have the boys and girls decided? Oh, they have decided that they want a swing in their house as well. So they're going to swing over the top of the water. So my next sentence is going to be... It has a swing. Has a swing. So let's draw our swing there. There we go. And then remember, I'm going to put my full stop at the end to remind me that I will need to put one there when I'm writing my sentence. What else does this um, house have that the boys and girls at school have thought of? Oh, up at the top here, they want to have a tree house. So we could say, it... has a tree house. So I'm going to draw a tree and then I'm going to draw a house to remind me of that word, tree house. I've just thought of something else where I might change up here because we put my house has a slide. I might forget that it's meant to be a water slide. So I'm gonna squeeze in here some water. There we go. So we remember that it's a water slide. 
What have we got so far then? So we've got my house has a water slide, it has a swing, it has a tree house. What else did they want on their house? Oh, they have said that they want it to be made from bright colours and there is going to be a bridge to their house as well. So they're going to need a bridge to get across the water to get to their house. So my next sentence is going to be my house has a bridge. So how could we draw a bridge? So I'm going to draw, this is my bridge here. It comes down at the side. Then underneath we've got the water. So my house has a bridge and can you remember when you were writing about your house? We put that sign there, didn't we? To remind ourselves about the word and. Just like when we're doing maths and we use the plus sign, it means we're joining them together. When we put it here, the word and means we are joining two parts of a sentence together. So my house has a bridge and bright colours. Oh, you might need some coloured pencils or pens if you've got some bright colours on your house. Mrs. Coleman doesn't have any. I've only got a black pen. So I'm going to do some paint splats. There we go. Let's do some splatty paints to remind myself that it is bright colours. So my house has a bridge and bright colours. Then don't forget your full stop at the end of that sentence. Now then, you might have even more things on your house that you want to talk about. And your things might be different to the ones that the boys and girls here have thought of. That's okay because this is your dream house. It's not my dream house. It's not anybody else's dream house. It's yours. So it can be exactly how you want it to be, guys. So then today, I want you to have a go at making your story map. Think about what you want to write and then tomorrow we'll start turning it into a book. Okay, see you then. Bye.